Welcome to my Create Studio 3.0 review. Here I'm going to be going over a lot of the great features that this software has to offer and given the fact that it is a lifetime deal, it comes highly recommended. At the end, I will break down my review specifically about what I like the most, but in the meantime, if you do want to check it out, I will leave my unique link down in the description and if you click that, you can get all the details for the lifetime offer that's currently available. Getting started though, something I think you're really going to like here are going to be the 3D characters. Ever since Create Studio originally got started, they had a smaller amount of characters, and since then they've been updating them. In fact, just the other day, I got another notification for an update with Create Studio, which tells you that they are constantly updating it, and that's a very good thing. As an example, what I'm going to do is say use Tom. So what I can do is drag and drop Tom over here. And what's great about Tom is that we can completely edit it. If we go here, we can take a look at the tops. Let's say he's just going to be rocking a shirt for this. For the bottom, if you want to use pants, if you want to use shorts, anything else, very short shorts, I might add, uh, shoes here. I'm just going to kind of scroll down. You can see some of the things you can choose from. We have hats in case you want to utilize any of those. There is the ability to change the hair. I'm going to go with something that's maybe a little bit more similar to mine. So I'm going to go with that. Glasses in case you want to use them. We have some facial hair. For this, I just went with struggle, but there's a few other variations that you can use, or you can just do none in case that's what you're going for. Eyebrows here. Maybe you want to remove those caterpillar eyebrows. If you want to make them a little thinner, we have curved here. They really do a good job with a lot of the editing of the characters that you can create, and that's always a good thing. So you can really make it yours, especially when it comes to even tattoos. You can upload a PNG or transparent image to actually utilize a tattoo that you might have, or maybe your brand wants to showcase whatever it's going to be right so logos too so if you do have a shirt like this you can upload your logo so for me it could be marketing island you can put it right there we do have colors so if you want to change this around and of course lights so overall editing your characters is pretty straightforward right you can change it around you can customize it and i think that's a great way to really make it yours overall Going back to the studio, they have a plethora of backgrounds, which in my opinion, all look fantastic. I do love that AI kind of look. And if you do want to use any of these, all you have to do is just click on it and drag it in. If you haven't used the new one yet, you simply click on the download button, which takes like half a second. And then we can drag and drop it in right there. Because you're going to notice it looks like Tom right here is much taller than the car and everything else. So we can make him a little bit smaller. Now it's going to come down to the actions, which you can do a lot of. So we are clicked on Tom here. We can click on the actions here. And this is where we can add a lot of different actions to utilize something that he's going to do, say in a video, maybe he's going to walk on through, he's going to wave, he's going to take a selfie, whatever it's going to be. Right now he's idle. So we can always change that around or move it around. But for now, let's add a new action. And as an example, let's say he's going to be doing some walking. Okay, so now we have walking and idle. What we can do is just move this up here. If we don't want idle, we can just say we want to delete that. So right now he's going to be walking. All right, and in order for him to walk in a specific section, what we can do is click on him right there, do add animation, and we want position. So as you can see here, if we drag this all the way over to the left, and then we move him over here, that can be his starting point. And then when he's done walking, what we can do is just say, like, move him over here. And yes, he's going to be walking in a different direction, but just kind of showcase what it's going to look like. We can change it around. He is doing the moonwalk and he is feeling great. All right. So what I want to do is rewind it because if you'll notice, he is going to be facing backwards. So what we can do here is click on him. We have properties right here and we can just simply flip him. So he's going to be walking the right way. And of course, if we want to maybe drag it out a little bit more, we can make it slower so that he finishes there, turns around, and then he can do his next action. So just to kind of give you an example, he's walking and he's done, but he's not completely done yet. We can do a lot more where that comes from. We have some other actions that we can take. So if we click on this right here, as you can see, to give you an example, maybe he's celebrating with a trophy. Maybe he's going to be dancing. I'll probably do dancing, right? It could be sad, shaking hands, sitting, sleeping. And these are just a lot of animations that you can use to put together a video to express something that's going to be happening, right? So I'm going to go with dancing here and you're going to notice it's just going to drag it out a little bit further. So what I can do is just stretch this out so the background remains the same. And what I'm going to do is just start from the beginning and show you what it looks like where he walks to the middle, he starts to dance, and then he can move from there. Okay, so we've seen that he is going to be walking. Oops, let me do this. Here we go. 
And now he's doing the happy dance, which I find pretty funny if you ask me. Now, there is the ability to add some music or maybe if you want to use a voiceover, uh, what I can do is go to music here. I did another review of this and I didn't get to cover this, so I do want to bring it up. You'll notice there's going to be music here, there's FX, and there is going to be speech. So you can utilize it with AI or with Google. Just something to keep in mind, if you are going to be using more credits, there is going to be an extra here where you can buy more. So if you want some really good AI credits, that is going to be an option. Despite the fact that it is a lifetime deal, there are some other aspects where you can use to upgrade or increase. Plus, there are a couple of upsells. At least the good thing with those is that A, they're very beneficial, but two, they are not needed to make the software work. They're just a little bit extra. If you have any more questions about that, simply leave a comment down below and I can give you much finer details. Nevertheless, that was just a very quick overview when it comes to creating animations, adding some actions, customizing your character, and of course, if you wanted to add the voiceover, the process that you would go through in order to utilize that. I think what makes it even better with Create Studio is going to be their Lightning Builder. This is what's going to really allow you to create those pro-level videos at a much quicker rate. I will say that previously when I was showcasing that demo, there is a slight learning curve to that, especially there's going to be a few buttons that you got to click, you know, just getting used to how you can set up an action, where you want to stop your character, where you want to start them and so on and so forth. But Create Studio does come with a plethora of tutorial videos if they're going to be needed. So that's always a good thing. We're not probably going to need as many tutorials as going to be this lightning builder. And I'm going to show you how it works. We can go with square, we can go with standard or vertical, say for like a TikTok video or an Instagram reel. But for this, I'm just going to go with standard here. And as you can see, there are a ton of different type of videos that you can create. I think this is one of their best aspects. I think that their animation builder that we saw previously, the dashboard, editing everything around, you can really customize it. But this is going to be great for getting up and running at lightning speed, as they call it. We can create clay animations. This is going to be like a meet Jack type of one. If you need something for user interface, there's minimal, uh, mobile apps, agencies, business packs, emojis packs. I'm not going to read through all of them, but some of the popular ones like a social video or a business presentation, marketing agency, so a lot of Christmas stuff here, back to schools, teams, internet marketing and SEO, video ads, YouTube, titles and overlays, and kind of scrolling down, you can see that there's many of them that you can use. You can even do explainer videos, bobblehead videos, so a lot to like here. Let me just show you how it works very quickly. I'm going to go with the business promo one right here. And something that's also great when it comes to creating a video utilizing the Lightning Builder is that a lot of these types of videos have a plethora of different video categories or subcategories that you can utilize. For example, we could start with an opener here where they want a logo opener. You can go with like, this is Steve. He has a business. He's not doing well with it. And then he found out about so-and-so and they have great benefits, so on and so forth. I'm going to add that one in. Okay, then there's going to be content. You don't always have to go in the specific order. Like for example, you could say like me, Steve, he has a business, but his business is doing horrible like this, but he doesn't know how to promote it. Okay, then we could say go to solution here, where something like, you know, and then he found out about this, or we found these services, and then, you know, mission and value. Let's say we did this, we could do uh, our service, then we could have some benefits, right? So we help grow your business, or we could do targets. I think targets is going to be fine. Then you can have a call to action. So pretty simple, contact us, whether it's through a website, phone, address, of course, reviews if needed. So it has a lot of the important information that you would want to use in terms of getting someone to say or relate to someone, say, are you struggling to build your business? Are you having a hard time getting more social media traffic? Well, great. At Marketing Island, we're going to show you the tools that help generate your traffic, your leads and sales, and so on and so forth. We can go on from there. Another cool thing is that you can edit all the transitions here if needed. So if you click on any of these spots before, either in between or before the videos, you can simply click on one or after hovering over it to see if you're going to like it. I think that one looks good. And when you click on it, it's going to apply to that scene. However, what you can do is simply do apply to all scenes. I'm just going to click on it again. And you're going to notice that each of these sections are just going to highlight. So we now have transitions for all of these. Okay, so pretty cool. I'm going to click on go to editor and it's going to showcase if you want to use some music because I'm doing a review here. I'm just going to do no so it doesn't play over me. But nevertheless, there's plenty of different categories that you can use for the videos that you create with Create Studio. All right, great. So once again, you are going to be very familiar with this editor or timeline. It's the one we previously used. So this is also another good thing. You don't have to learn a lot of different timelines or editors. It's pretty much just going to be the same here. It's just getting started is going to be much quicker because it creates it for you. So I'm going to drag the bar across just to kind of show you what it looks like. So this is Steve. He has a business. He doesn't know how to promote it. Uh, then we found some services, of course. You could obviously change around the text, which I'll show you how to do. I'm going to move this over. 
uh, target one and target two, like say are some of the big benefits. And then of course, contacting us. So if we go back over here to make our lives much easier, we can click on this right here and you're going to notice it's just going to have the text there for you and the colors. So you can just pretty easily change those around and say, this is James. He has a business. Let's use me as the guinea pig. Okay. Let's move to the next one, but he doesn't know how to promote it. Boo hoo. What was me? Okay. I mean, let's keep that how it is. Looks fine to me. All right. So for this example, I just put like, but then it changes. What you can do is click on your text right here. And if you want to make it a little bit smaller, like with the spacing, the position, and definitely the size can be smaller. So it's not in the other one over there, right? Or step one, but then it changes something like that. Okay. Then we have one. He found Marketing Island and now he's on top of the marketing world. Just kind of joking around here, but that's how you can go about changing that, obviously. Then we have our next scene, which could be big benefits, right? So say like benefit one. Doesn't even need to say benefit one, but something like this. It says start with an outline of topics. You don't necessarily have to listen to that. So just as an example, I put benefit one, uh, increase your traffic. Benefit two, maximize your sales. And just looking at the last scene very quickly, uh, pretty straightforward here, obviously with the websites here. So we could just do marketing aisle uh, phone. Sure. We can keep that address. We don't need the specific address, but you know, you can put yours there if needed. And that's going to be the last scene. So that's something I really like about create studio. It's very similar to a lot of different software tools that I use that come with templates. I always rave about templates because what they allow you to do is just get up and running so much easier. Now, if you wanted to create this normally, you certainly can do that. Like in the beginning, as we talked about with more animation, it's going to take a lot more time because there's a lot of moving parts to this, but you can save a lot of that time by leveraging a template filling in your information, your website, your brand, your message, and anything else related to that, allowing you to really utilize the lightning builder. And of course, save a lot of time, which is a good thing, right? So that's taking two different looks at looking at their editor. One where you're starting off if you want to create an animation on your own and two using the lightning builder to get up and running very quickly, regardless of which method you use. I think they are both fantastic despite a little learning curve here and there, which is going to be expected. So let's bring this Create Studio 3.0 review to a final close. So after diving deep into Create Studio numerous amounts of times, it's very clear that this animation software is an excellent choice for both beginners and seasoned video creators. With its intuitive interface and rich feature set, it's a powerful tool for producing high quality animations quickly and efficiently. Whether you're creating captivating explainer videos, eye-catching social media content, or polishing marketing materials, Create Studio definitely has you covered. I love how within their drag and drop timeline, it makes it seamless and precise and gives you plenty of control over the animations that you want to create. The extensive library of templates and assets is also a huge time saver, allowing you to start your project without having to build everything from scratch. Additionally, Create Studio's compatibility with both Mac and Windows ensures it fits smoothly into your existing workflow, regardless of your setup. And although there's a little bit of a learning curve, Create Studio is still a very wise investment for anyone serious about stepping up their video content. Whether you're an entrepreneur, marketer, or content creator, Create Studio equips you with the tools to bring your creative ideas to life. But don't just take my word for it. Be sure to click the link in the description and check out Create Studio for yourself with its special lifetime deal. That's going to wrap up my Create Studio 3.0 review. If you have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. My name is James. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you in my next video.